Pittsburgh Penguins fans, welcome to Penn's Den, your best source for news, updates, and analysis regarding your five-time Stanley Cup champion, Pittsburgh Penguins. In this episode, we'll go over the Penn's balance sheet, gains and losses, current needs, and my analysis. All that, coming right up. NHL free agent frenzy has died down to barely a whisper. The past couple of weeks or so, we've seen some sporadic activity, but nothing really of note. Now that the dust has settled, it's a good time to look at the Pittsburgh Penguins balance sheet, if you will, to see their gains and their losses. Let's look at their gains first. They acquired Ryan Reeves from the St. Louis Blues for Oscar Sundquist. They signed defenseman Matt Hunwick to a three-year contract. They signed goaltender Anton Niemi to a one-year contract. They re-signed Justin Schultz to a three-year contract. They signed defenseman Chris Summers, Jared Tenorti, and Zach Tortman, and forward Greg McKegg. They re-signed Tom Sestito and Frank Corrado. They signed Casey DeSmith. They named Mark Recchi, assistant coach. They named Sergey Gonchar, assistant coach. They re-signed forward Josh, Archib Josh Archibald and defenseman Derek Pillow. Links will be provided for all the Penn's gains in the description. Now we're going to go over the Penguins' losses. Marc-Andre Fleury to the Vegas Golden Knights in the expansion draft. Nick Benino to the Nashville Predators. Trevor Daly to the Detroit Red Wings. Ron Hainsey to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Chris Kunitz to the Tampa Bay Lightning, Mike Bales, goaltending coach to the Carolina Hurricanes, and Rick Tockett, head coach now of the Arizona Coyotes. What are the Penguins' current needs? The one thing the Penguins have not done is sign a third-line center. General Manager Jim Rutherford is looking for the right fit, not only for the team, but salary cap-wise. Lots of names have been brought up, including Jordan Stahl, Tyler Bozak, and Matt Duchesne. Rumor has been circulating that Phil Kessel was on the trading block, but Jim Rutherford stated this week in an interview on 93.7 The Fan, he's an important part. I don't want to sit here and say that a certain player is not going to get traded at some point in his career. I mean, Phil already did. But that's not something I foresee happening right now, end quote. Let's look at my analysis. I like the move the Penguins have made so far. Reeves will provide a smart, physical presence on the blue line, something the Penguins have been lacking for a long time. Niemi is a solid backup to Matt Murray, and I'm hoping that Murray stays healthy this year. Hunwick looks, looks like a solid, dependable blue liner. Resigning Schultz was an excellent move. The youth movement was bolstered by signing Archibald and Poulot, hoping Poulot finally shows us that he's ready to play in the NHL. Adding Recky and Gonchar as coaches were excellent moves. Recky should really help with the forwards and Gonchar with the defense. The greatest loss, of course, was Marc-Andre Fleury to the expansion Vegas Golden Knights. He will indeed be missed. Enough cannot be said of his waiving his no-trade clause, which in turn helped the Penguins win their fifth Stanley Cup. He's an incredible netminder, but an even better person. That's it for Penn's Den Episode 1. If you've enjoyed the content in today's video, please like, hit the subscribe button, and tell other Penn's fans about my channel. Also be sure to check the description for links to my blog, Penn's Den Facebook page, Penn's Den and Pittsburgh Penguins Facebook groups, and Penn's Den on Twitter. Thanks for watching. And always remember, it's a great day for hockey.